My name is Adam Levy. I'm a guitar player in Los Angeles. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience with jam pedals, uh, with the pedals themselves and with jam pedals, the company, the, the people that the people that are the company. Uh, a few years ago, I was at the NAMM show in Anaheim and I was wandering around with that feeling. If you've ever been to the NAMM show, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I was overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the exact same time. So much going on, so much uh, information and stimulation, and yet nothing was really uh, feeling special to me. And uh, I was about to call it a day, and then I remembered that somebody had told me about uh, jam pedals. So I looked up in the little guide, the NAM guide, to, to see where they were, and I found their booth. And right away, I felt like I had found kindred spirits, the guys that were at the booth, uh, Giannis and uh, Emmanuel, both of those guys just were very welcoming. They didn't have any idea who I, who I was, or, you know, I didn't really, I just walked up and somebody was playing guitar and I waited a while and I, I asked if I could play and I said, sure. They handed me a guitar. They let me play. And, uh, I just loved that. There was no, um, you know, who are you or any, any of that kind of thing. They just were very open to anybody who might walk up and, and be curious. And, um, you know, that, that same quality I found, um, in the pedals themselves, um, they look really cool and yet they're, they're unintimidating. Most of them just have two or three knobs. Uh, some just have one knob, um, and uh, so I thought, well, this is cool. I don't need to read any uh, instruction manuals or scroll through menus or anything like that. The, everything's right on the face of the pedal. And um, having mostly used kind of older analog pedals, uh, the interface, that's a funny word. It sounds like an interface sounds like a digital screen, but the interface being the knob or the two knobs or three knobs was just super intuitive. Uh, you could just reach and start turning knobs and, and dial up sounds very quickly. And uh, I just loved that every pedal of theirs that I tried, it still sounded like me playing the guitar. It wasn't, uh, wasn't taking anything away. It was just adding dimension and color and... Uh, all kinds of other layers of, of sonic interest. It was, it's really cool. So, um, after, after that initial meeting, I wound up hanging out with those guys. We had some food in LA. I went to Greece. Uh, we had some more food. Um, I got to play at the grand opening of their, uh, workshop in Athens. And so now we have a great relationship and I still, uh, I love the pedals and I love the people behind the pedals. Um, I've got lots of jam pedals in my collection. And I'll, I'll tell you about two in particular that I really love that I, that I use all the time. Uh, one is the, the waterfall, which is, it's a chorus pedal. I don't much use it as a chorus pedal. Sometimes I do but I usually switch it into the vibrato mode and just get this really uh, warbly, almost like warped record kind of feeling. It's, it's a super uh, physical kind of feeling that you get from the pedal. It, it's not a digital recreation or approximation. It's a, it really, you just feel like something's <laughs> moving you know, when you hear it, it it's, uh, it's great. There's some special, uh, chip in it. I, I don't know anything about chips, but Giannis can tell you, uh, what the chip is in it that makes it special. But if you like, you know, old vibrato effects, like maybe the, the boss VB2 or something like that, um, it'll do that thing, but it, it does many more things. Uh, so that's kind of my secret weapon. It's my pedal board is always in flux, but as I move 
different overdrives and delays and compressors and stuff on and off the board. The one constant is the jam pedals waterfall. It's, um, it's really cool. Uh, the other pedal that I use all the time is, uh, is the delay llama, not the, even the, the plus or the deluxe, or I'm not even sure what they call it, but just the, the original three knob, uh, delay llama. Um, it just sounds incredible. It does, it makes a delay sound. That's a given. Any delay pedal will give you echo repeats. That's that's what they do. But um, if you want one that sounds really juicy, like really sounds like tape echo, uh, it's responsive to your playing, and there, there's not a bad sound in the box. You just dial the knobs any way you like, and uh, I have, if there's a bad sound, I haven't found it. It's just, it's a really wonderful pedal. I did a whole tour this summer where I only used one pedal, the, the whole tour. And uh, that was the pedal. So I didn't bring a pedal board. I just, <laughs> I brought the uh, delay llama and the power supply. And that was the only effect I used. And I was able to make it seem like I was getting a lot of other sounds and other effects just by using the delay llama and adjusting the knobs on my guitar and playing differently. So that's a really uh, special pedal. Um, they make about a dozen more really special pedals. Uh, I love all of the stuff that they do. And um, I don't know, if you're thinking about uh, trying some new pedals, uh, Jam Pedals is the best place to start, whether you're at the NAMM show or just shopping or hanging out, whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, jam pedals are really cool.